Okay, this is a guide to World Anvil user states. So on World Anvil, you can create content that is exclusive to people following your world, for example, or exclusive to people logged in and part of our community. This is a great way to grow your follower base on World Anvil, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So you can see this is my World homepage. It's pretty simple right now, and I have a follow button. I'm going to show you how to do that too today. Uh, but I want to make this a little bit more fancy. I want to incentivize people to follow my world. So this is how I'm going to set that up. First of all, this is my world configuration, world introduction. That's where I change what's going on here. Now, my first user state is going to be this. I'm going to use the user state follow BB code. So user state is the BB code and then follower is the status that I'm targeting right now. That's who can see this content. So only people following my world will be able to see this and that's the end of the BB code. And now I just put my message in the middle. Welcome agent, remember the shadows are full of dangers. Check out this article to learn what lies beyond the veil. And then I've put an article block which explains a little bit more about what the dangers are. And that is my user state follower. But only followers will see this. So for non-followers, user state not follower. And then of course I will end this with close user state. We must always close our BB codes. Now I want to incentivize people to follow the world. So this is how I'm going to do that. So welcome stranger, follow the world to unlock its secrets. Then I'm going to go into advanced tools, world widgets, follow world button, and I'm going to pop that right here. So there's an incentivization, little line break there, to follow the world. If they follow the world, they will then see this where they saw this. So here's how it looks in the view mode. When someone is not locked in, they will see welcome stranger followed to the world to unlock its secrets. They're going to click the follow button, going to be alerted that they are following, and now they see a different text. Welcome agent, remember the shadows are full of dangers, and they can click on this article to see more. Simple, right? But what if somebody isn't logged in to World Anvil? That means they'll never be able to follow your world. In that case, we use the other user state, logged in, not logged in, and here's how. So I'm back in my world configuration because I'm editing the world introduction on the home page. And I'm going to add a line here, user state again, but this time, just copy paste it. Again, we're going to copy our end user state, but instead of not follower, I'm going to use logged out. So after a little bit of formatting, this is what I have written for my logged out users. These are people who aren't yet logged in to World Anvil. And this is how that looks in the view mode. You can see, welcome stranger, follow the world to unlock its secrets. There's a clear call to action to log in to World Anvil to follow the world and unlock its secrets. And of course, we know now that once they do log into World Anvil, they're gonna see this page with the button that allows them to follow. And then when they click this button, they're going to be able to see the other content that allows them through. So what you've done there is you've created a user journey from a logged out user to a logged in user to a follower of your world, all through the user state's BB code. Pretty clever, right? Of course, the well is your oyster in terms of BB code formatting and everything else. I tried to keep it simple just for today, but uh, go wild and let me know how it's working for you. All right, guys, grab your hammer and go world build.